You've shopped the local produce aisle at the grocery store. You visit the farmer's market every week. Maybe you even participate in your local CSA. But this year, you tell yourself it's time to take that next step, time to start your own garden. Every spring, there is a new crop of green thumbs ready to roll up their sleeves and get a little dirty. They rush off to the local nursery with visions of ripe tomatoes, green beans, and fresh herbs from the backyard, ready to buy the plants, the seeds, and that first garden hoe. Then, terror hits. An avalanche of questions. What zone am I in? Full sun, partial sun, what's the pH of my soil? Ah! We visited Jim Nelson in his winter set garden to get some tips on how to make your first garden a success. Probably the the biggest thing to start with is uh, start small. Uh, You know, a 10 by 10 garden is probably a good size to start with. Uh, It's a lot better to uh, uh, be real proud of a 10 by 10 garden than very frustrated by a garden my size. Square foot gardening works good for beginners. They can uh, just have a little plot and then they have to plot that out. Yeah, they have to decide you know, what they're going to plant and, and where they're going to plant it. But they'll start out with a basic small garden and plant the surefire things. Like, uh, you know, if they just did a salad garden, really, you, you can't hardly lose on those and they can have a successful year. Our raised beds are great for beginners too. I use them for my cold crops like broccoli and cauliflower because raised beds get warmer earlier in the spring. I can plant those earlier. You've decided on the garden's layout, but to get your vegetables to thrive, there are still a few factors to consider before you start to plant, starting with the soil's acidity. There's a bag you get from the extension office and uh, get some samples, send that into Iowa State, and uh, they'll give you a a readout of whether you need more nitrogen, phosphorus, or potash, and whether it's acid or neutral. Most all your vegetables want a a pH of about six and a half, and uh, that's about what my garden runs. If it's too acid, you can add some lime. Exposure to the sun is another consideration. If a plant requires full sun, which most all your vegetables do, I mean, they do, uh, full sun is considered six hours of full sunlight. Uh, I like eight hours better. Uh, six seems a little short for me, uh, especially tomatoes and things like that. They, they're a hot weather plant, so I'd recommend eight hours for them. Uh, partial shade or partial sun, which seems like the kind of same thing, uh, is considered three to six hours. Before starting that garden, you will need some tools. But don't worry, this list is short. They ought to have a spade. Uh, They ought to have a garden fork or potato fork, uh, a hoe and a rake and a trowel. And really, that's all they need. But don't plant yet. You've got to know your zone. That's really important, uh, especially with uh, your planting times. We're in zone five here which means our freeze date, uh, last frost date, is about May 10th. And uh, on the average, there's 10 degrees difference between zones. It's really important to know that because uh, you don't want to be setting stuff out, you know, before that, especially your tomatoes and real tender. Your cold crops, will they'll take some frost. And don't neglect your soil. A well-fed soil is the foundation of a successful garden. And some of the best stuff is probably in your kitchen garbage can. Love compost is uh, an ideal way to use all your kitchen scraps, except oils or fats or bones and stuff like that you don't want in there. But all your kitchen scraps, leaves, uh, grass clippings you can put in, uh, just turns into black gold, just wonderful got all the good stuff in it, yeah. Jim's last couple of garden tips are probably his most practical. Ideal place for a garden is something you can see, uh, see out your kitchen window, you know. Uh, if you have to travel someplace to your garden, you're not gonna take care of it in your life you would. It, uh, it was right out your back door. Islands, we rely on the weather, you know. You're, you're not gonna win them all. You're gonna have stuff that maybe doesn't produce very well and uh, you have to know that going into it.